Hello kindergarten, so we are going to start a self-portrait today. And the beginning steps, the first part of the drawing, it's going to be the same for everyone. And the hair is what's going to make it look like you. So when we get to the hair, we'll have lots of different choices to choose something that looks like us. But for the starting part of our self-portrait, we're all going to be doing the same thing. So the first thing you're going to do is start with your name and the day you have art. Day A, day B, day C. You're going to flip it over and you're going to draw a very large U in the center of your paper. So it needs to really fill the paper. You want it wide so you have enough room for your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, and you want it tall so it fills the paper. We're going to add a neck, so you're going to add two short lines at the bottom, and then shoulders are going to go off to the side of the paper. They're not going to go down to the bottom of the paper, they're going to go all the way over to the side and then you're gonna add um, a curved line right around the bottom to look like there's a shirt on. And I add two curved lines for the shirt, the neck of the shirt. Okay, so our eyes are located halfway between our chin and the top of our head. So you're gonna find middle of the U, right in the middle, top to bottom. You can kinda do this if you want to try to find the middle or you can just look. So here's about where the middle of my face is. So you're going to draw two ellipse shapes for your eyes right in the middle. So don't put them too high. Find the middle and that's where the eyes are going to go. And ellipse shapes are football shapes or lemon shapes. And you want to draw these nice and big filling this space. If you draw them very tiny you're going to look squinty. Now it's hard to draw two things the same. You can see my left eye is a little bit bigger than my right eye and that's okay. Just do the best you can. If they're really off, you can erase and try again. That's why we're drawing in pencil. So this is the shape of our eye. So now we need to do the colored part of our eye, which is a circle. So you're gonna draw a circle at the top of the ellipse that swings down and comes back up and touches the top of the ellipse. You're not drawing a curved line. You're drawing a true circle inside the ellipse all the way around. And remember, a circle starts and ends at the same spot. Then you need to draw the dot that's in your eye, which is called the pupil. And you're just gonna color that in with your pencil. And it's a little circle inside the iris or the colored part of your eye. So you need to add eyebrows. So you're gonna add a line above the eye that arches over the eye. You don't wanna put it too close. Sometimes I put my finger right above the eye and make sure the eyebrow is above that. If it's too close to the eye, it kinda looks like eyelashes. The nose is located halfway between the eyes and the chin. So you can kind of do this, or you can just look with your eye, and that's where the nose goes, right at halfway. So right in between the center part of your eyes, you're gonna draw a short little U, and that's the start of your nose. Now the side of your nose is the letter C, so you're gonna draw the letter C for cat, but you're gonna start it above the U, swing down and touch the bottom of the U. So there's my C for cat. And now I'm gonna draw backwards letter C. So I'm gonna draw a backwards letter C on the other side to finish off the nose. Then the mouth, you're gonna draw a straight line halfway between the nose and the chin. And the eye should probably be as long as the black dots in your eyes. So they're almost as long. So if I put my finger right here and go straight up, put my finger right here and go straight up, that's about how long my mouth should be. Above that line, you're gonna draw the letter M and below that line, you're gonna draw a very short letter U that goes across. So here we have a nice realistic portrait. Our eyes are in the middle, nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, and our mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin. So now we need ears. Ears are located between the eyes and the nose. So my eyes are right here, and my nose is right here. So I'm gonna draw a line that curves away from the head and then comes back and touches the head down by the nose. And do the same on the other side. And again, drawing two things the same is really hard, so you can see my left ear is a little bit bigger than my right ear, and that's okay. So now here is where we make it look like you. So we're gonna add all different types of hair. So if you are a boy with short hair, shaggy hair, you're gonna kinda of draw a zigzag line that goes across like this, but you're not finished. Now you're gonna erase the side of your head on both sides where the hair is, and then you draw 
a zigzag line going around and closing off the hair like that. If you're a boy with really short hair, you're gonna draw a hill that goes up and over to the other side. You're gonna erase the U lines. And then you're gonna draw another hill that's higher than the first hill. Up and over. And then within this space, and then within that space, you will add your short little hair growing. Within that space. You wanna draw hair that's spiked up. You're gonna draw a hill that goes over the top. You're gonna erase the U. And then you'll draw your spiky hair going up over the top of your head. Okay, if you're gonna draw girl hair that's nice and long, you're going to draw it with an upside down V. So think of the letter V going up and down over to the ears, the tops of the ears, and then you're gonna erase the U on either side. And then you're gonna go start at the shoulders and go up and around to the other side. If you have straight hair, this is what you're gonna do. And then you can add some long straight lines in here. Now, if you don't have long hair, your hair is short, it doesn't touch your shoulder, then you wouldn't draw this line down to the shoulder. You would stop and bring it to the neck. And then you would draw these lines. They go down for your hair. So this is long hair going to the shoulder. This is shorter hair on one side. If you don't have straight hair and you have wavy hair, you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to come around with the upside down V. You're gonna erase the U on either side, the side of the head. And then instead of going up and around, like we did for the last one, you'll do more wavy. So this would be long wavy hair. If you have shorter wavy hair, you would stop here and bring it to the neck. And then you can draw wavy lines inside this space. If you have curly hair, you would do the same thing, but instead of drawing wavy lines for wavy hair, you would draw curls. You would draw sw swirls for curly hair. If you have a ponytail, you're gonna start at the ear and go up and over to the other side. You're going to erase the side of the head or the side of the U, whatever you wanna call it. And then you're gonna draw another hill. Starting at the side, the hill is gonna go up higher and back down to the other side. This is your hair, so then you can draw it going back, pulled back. Then you need your ponytail. If you have one ponytail, then you would just do the ponytail holder here and the ponytail coming out the side of the ponytail holder and, and hanging down on the side here. If you have two ponytails, then instead of doing one ponytail holder in the top middle, you would do one on this side, one on this side, and if you have more than two ponytail holders, you would add a bunch of them, and then you're going to have the hair come out of the ponytail holder. And you can make these ponytails as long or short as you want. These are short, you could bring them down to the shoulder if you have long ponytails. And then you're gonna add the hair coming out of here. And finally, if you have braids, braids are hard for me to draw. So you start with the hill. That hill is not even, it's wonky on one side, kind of flat, so I need to fix that. You're gonna erase the straight lines. You're gonna go up and over top of the head. And 
and then you're going to add your ponytail holder. And then with braids, I find them hard to draw. So I kind of draw a curved line and then another curved line so that they kind of come to a point. And then another and another. I'm almost drawing the shape of the eye sideways to make it look like braids. And you can draw the line down the middle or to the side. And then you would draw the little ponytail holder at the end and your hair coming out the bottom like that. And if you have lots of little braids, then you would draw lots of little ponytails, holders, ponytail holders, and then braids kind of going behind braids like that. So then I would add another one here. And maybe another one here. And then you gotta always erase the part of the head that's inside the braid so that you get little braids all over the head. And that's how you're going to draw your self-portrait. So once you have your self-portrait drawn, you're going to outline with black permanent marker. You're going to trace right over the top of your pencil lines very carefully. If you trace over them carefully and slow, you get a nice black line and you're less likely to have to erase anything afterwards. So see how slow I'm going? tracing slowly. By moving my marker slowly, it also helps it not to be faded and dried out. If I go really fast with the marker, then it tends to look more faded, like the marker isn't working and it's old. So if I go slow, I get a nice black juicy line. And remember, you need to use juicy markers that work. Don't use any old faded markers that are making kind of a gray, dried out line. Use markers that make this nice black line. So you're gonna continue to trace your pencil lines very, very slowly and carefully. And then you have to do very little erasing. So far, the only place I missed, my pencil line is right here, that's it. So I've been going so slow and careful, I don't have a lot of erasing to do. So if you're someone who doesn't like to erase, Go slow on the tracing, and then you may not have to erase at all. I missed a little spot right there. So you're going to continue to do this until all of your pencil lines are traced carefully. Okay, so now that you have your self-portrait outlined with black permanent marker, you're going to get the skin color crayons. They're in these rectangular bins, and they're marked multicultural crayon on the side. And you're going to choose the skin color that best matches your skin, and you're going to color in the neck. Nice and neat, take your time. I like to try and color in the same direction so that will fill in the space a little bit faster. And then I change direction when I'm along the edge there. You're gonna color in your ears with the same skin color, you're not changing the color. And then you're gonna color from the hairline and then you're gonna color over the eyebrows and down around the eyes. You're gonna color in the cheeks to color over the nose and you're not going to change colors you're going to color over the mouth if you change colors you're it's going to look like you have lipstick or lip gloss on and ladies we're not doing that so you're going to color right over the top of the mouth all right so once you get the skin your face colored in then you're going to put these away you don't want to use any of these for the rest of the picture do not use these for the rest of your picture and you're going to get the regular crayons out for your eye color, ask your neighbor what eye color you have if you don't know. You have three choices, blue, green, or brown. You only color in the circle part of the eye. You do not color in the football shape because that's the whites of your eyes. So these are left white on the sides of the colored part. Choose a color for your hair. And your hair is either blonde, which is yellow, or it's brown, or it's black, or it's the scarlet color, like a red color. So you're going to choose the color that matches your hair color and you're going to color in your hair. 
The last thing you're going to do is color in your shirt. It can be any color you want. If you have a lot of shirt showing, then you can do a pattern or a design on your shirt if you like. But any color you want, you color in your shirt. And you are finished. And there is your finished self-portrait. Good job, Kinder.